everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm really excited to share with you my favorite banana ice cream recipes. So now in this video, you're going to see that I'm going to be using few different devices to make banana ice cream. I wanted to specify in the intro of this video that you can actually make banana ice cream and create different textures and experiences and final results with different tools of making the ice cream. So you'll see I'm using my Vitamix blender. I will also be using a food processor. And lastly, I will be using the Yonana's machine. And all of these devices work magic. They create banana ice cream wonderfully and what you really want to take home from this is that you will actually ultimately create different textures and different uh, experiences with an ice cream as a final result. The food processor, in my opinion, makes banana ice cream more whipped because it's blended for a much longer period of time. There's more air whipped into it, so it's a lot fluffier and lighter. The Yonana's machine is the closest result you can get to actual ice cream, where it's super, super incredibly thick and the Vitamix blender blends up nice cream super, super smooth. So if you really wanted velvety, smooth, soft serve type nice cream, you'd go for the Vitamix and any other high speed blender of your choice. All of these recipes that I'm gonna be sharing with you, they are quite interchangeable with the amounts of ingredients that you're going to need for your body. So don't take home exactly what I'm doing and try and squish it into your body. It might be too much, it might be too little, so make sure to adjust to your body and your needs. And you can also add in extra frozen fruits of any kind, frozen mango chunks, frozen pineapple, frozen berries, and many different types of frozen berries. Options are endless. So if you see me using a few different ingredients, make sure you know that you can switch things up. So the idea here is just to give you some ideas. If you have not yet tried these specific recipes, go ahead, try them out. I love them so much. And if you wanted to change them up a little bit, go ahead and do that. So I hope you guys find this video helpful and inspiring, and I really hope you try these recipes and you enjoy them. For this first recipe, you're just going to need frozen bananas and frozen wild blueberries. You're going to let the bananas thaw on the countertop for about five minutes, chop them up into small chunks, place them into your high speed blender along with the frozen wild blueberries and blend them up until they're creamy smooth. And lastly, once it's all plated into your serving bowl, you can top it off with your choice of your frozen berries. For this next recipe, all you're going to need are two ingredients, frozen bananas and carob powder or cocoa powder. All you're going to do is again, let the bananas thaw on the countertop for about five minutes. Then you're going to chop them up into small sized chunks, add them into your high speed blender along with the carob powder or cacao powder, then blend it up until it's creamy and smooth. If you are sensitive to caffeine, I highly recommend trying out carob powder because it is a caffeine free alternative to cacao or cocoa powder and you can get this powder at your local health food shop or you can get it at Amazon.
Once you've placed all of your creamy, velvety nice cream into your bowl or your cup, simply add on top your frozen fruits and then you can tuck in. For the next recipe, you're going to need frozen bananas and frozen mixed berries of your choice. So for this recipe, I cut the bananas into larger size chunks because in this recipe, I was using our Yo Nanas machine. This machine is the best machine to create the most thick and dense nice cream, closest to actual nice cream that you can get in my opinion. So if you have the Yonanas machine and you wanted to make your banana ice cream in the Yonanas machine, then I highly recommend letting your fruits thaw for close to about five minutes as well. And then all you're going to do is chop the bananas into large size chunks and you are going to alternate putting the banana chunks and the berries into the Yonanas machine tube, pressing it down and creating your ice cream. Finally, you can top it off with some more frozen berries of your choice and voila. Moving on to the next recipe, you're going to need two ingredients, frozen bananas and frozen mango chunks. So again, using the Yonanas machine, I like to cut my banana chunks into larger size chunks. So what you need to do is alternate between putting the bananas and the mangoes into the tube of the Yonanas machine, press it down and you will create your thick banana ice cream. I personally go through stages of using each of these devices and going through phases of enjoying one more than the other. Recently, I've been obsessed with making banana ice cream in the Yonanas machine because I just love this thick and dense texture. Finally, I always add on top some more frozen berries or frozen mango chunks or whatever frozen fruit that I have on hand that suits well with that nice cream. I love to add some extra bits on the top. Look how delicious and thick and creamy this goodness is. Honestly, I highly recommend you trying out a Yonanas machine and getting your hands on that and trying out this recipe. It was amazing. For the next recipe, you will need frozen bananas, frozen mango chunks, and frozen zucchini or frozen broccoli of your choice. You will also want to use one or more of these powders, spirulina powder, barley grass powder, or wheatgrass powder. I chose to use them all because I really love the flavors of all of them. So all you're going to do is add your chopped frozen bananas along with the chopped frozen zucchini or broccoli and the mango chunks into your food processor along with the greens powders. Then the next step is easy, you just turn it on, blend it all up and watch the magic happen. If you don't have a high powered food processor, I would recommend you needing to scrape down the sides with a spatula or a wooden spoon after it's been blending for about a minute because sometimes some of the chunks get stuck around the sides. Look at this fluffy, creamy goodness. Most people often get scared away from using greens powders or leafy greens in their smoothies and banana ice cream, but I can assure you it is honestly the best way to sneak in your greens and not taste them whatsoever. 
The sweet fruits always overpower the greens powders or the leafy greens, and you honestly can't taste any of that, so it's a wonderful way to add in extra nutrients to your diet without worrying about nasty taste. On this one, I added on top some frozen wild blueberries, and that was it. So super quick, super easy to make, delicious, nutritious, and incredible. Moving on to our final recipe, you will need frozen bananas, frozen cauliflower, or frozen broccoli, along with some powdered peanut butter. This is the brand that we buy, it has no added sugar or salt, it's just strictly peanuts that have been defatted. So once you are ready to blend everything up, you add the frozen chopped cauliflower or broccoli into the food processor first, and then you can add in the frozen bananas as well. Again, stating what I like to do is I like to bring out my frozen bananas from the freezer, have them sitting on the wooden cutting board on the countertop for up to five minutes first to let them thaw, and then I chop them up into small sized chunks, and then I add them into the food processor as well. Then lastly, I added in the powdered peanut butter, and I blended that up until it was creamy and smooth. I will mention for you one more time, if you don't have a high speed or high powered food processor, you will need to turn it off after about a minute of blending. Use a wooden spoon or a spatula to scrape down the sides because sometimes the chunks get stuck on the top and then turn it back on and blend it up once more. You might need to do that a couple times until it's blended up creamy smooth, but if you have a high speed, high powered food processor like this one, you don't need to do anything. You just turn it on and go and it blends it up until it's fluffy and creamy and perfect. For this peanut butter and ice cream, I paired it with some frozen raspberries. But of course, you can top it with your choice of frozen berries or frozen fruit, and that is it. And there you have it, the last final banana ice cream recipe, another incredible one. All of these are super delicious and nutritious to enjoy at any meal of the day. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you're new here, I will see you next time.